here as Anus and also YouTube Roti Kendri Spa. I do everything natural. We don't use any chemicals in the spa. And today I'm going to show you some home tips because now everything is shut down. So you have a lot of time to do. Now you can't say I don't have time because a lot of times when I tell my clients to do anything at home, they say they don't have time. So now you can't say that. So use the time in a right way, in a positive direction and improve your skin and the well-being. So you could start doing yoga and also some of the tips today I'm going to tell you is the, how you can take care of the skin and the body, I mean body skin and also face, facial skin. Um, these are the, some of the oranges, I cut them, the whole orange with the skin because skin is the most important thing for the skin. The skin of the orange is the most important for the skin. It has volatile oil in it and also disinfecting uh, properties vitamin C so the volatile oil protects the skin and keeps it very moisturized and shiny so um, you just take out the seeds and then you put the whole thing don't take out anything even sometimes if your granite is good you can use the seeds also seeds has a lot of oil in it which is excellent for the skin so I put that and I'm going to put some um, honey in it Just, you know, uh, less than half a teaspoon of honey approximately and I'm going to put some milk, little bit of milk, don't put too much because if it is too liquidy, you can blend it. So I just put one tablespoon of milk approximately and then I'm going to blend this. When you're blending, make this one very smooth paste, extremely smooth paste. because when you're applying on the body it's going to fall on the floor if, you, if it is not completely smooth. glands oil glands and the skin and also it improves the cells so if meaning it improves the cells meaning if you have pigmentation or any marks or acne marks or even the acne this is perfect medicine for any kind of skin and even for the body skin or the facial skin you um, use around the you know around the ears under the eyes even on the eyebrows even on you know like on the eyelashes everywhere you can massage with this, this is the perfect paste to begin with 
so use this morning and evening um, and I can do more videos on the you know day to day like more regularly to do other recipes but for a week I want you to use this whenever you're taking shower just take one orange cut into pieces if they're small oranges you need two of them if they're big one you only need one so if you're taking twice shower then use two two times you can also blend it and put it in the fridge and take whenever you need it like you need almost two and a half to three tablespoons for the whole body so take it whenever you need it and use it but if it is in the fridge if it is too cold you can put it in the microwave or um, and again you put some milk in it because once it is goes in the fridge it gets dry and more harder so when before you warm it you put some milk in it and warm in it the reason why I'm saying milk again um, to mix instead of something else because milk is a can't I mean opposite to the citrus so if anyone is allergic to citrus milk will calm down the allergy levels so you'll be fine using it on the skin so that's the reason I say milk milk also um, has the properties of hydrating the skin and also it helps to moisturize and to keep, keep the moisture level in the skin so milk is very very important in the hydration level um, because most of the skins I see in the spa they are dehydrated Mm, there so they need a lot of hydrating so now I'm going to show you another one is the probiotic because right now we are fighting with the coronavirus so with if in, if that virus enters into the body they're saying they should we should not take the antibiotics and antibiotics is 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 going to kill all the cells white cells but if you take the probiotic probiotic helps you to um, increase more immunity in the body and the fighting cells will be a lot more aggressive so how to do that this is a pickle jar you get in most of the stores um, so take the pickle jar and then put the curry, curry. in color you have the water the whole gallon in the public seat not the distilled water just drinking water so you put the this is the beets so i bought the beets and i made into small pieces so i'm putting these this is one this size of the beets okay so i'm putting in this jar and then okay teaspoon is crema and this is the mustard powder Mustard, I made into, uh, in the coffee ground grinder, I made into powder. Generally, I make it in this jar, um, five to six teaspoons and keep it. And this is the Himalayan salt. I would like to use Himalayan salt than the white salt because this is much more better for your health. Um, regular salt has a lot of chemicals in it. So, so this is the... Um, I'm taking like one and a half teaspoon because this is a big jar or you can even put two teaspoons because this spoon also is too small so I took two teaspoons with this and then I'm going to take two teaspoons of the salt if you if you're very less uh, salt consumption if you want I mean if you have blood pressure high just take lesser than this but I am low BP so I need more salt so I'm putting two teaspoons for me this is I'm making for me but you judge according to your health okay if you're not supposed to take salt then just take only half a teaspoon or one teaspoon but not two I'm, I took two teaspoons in this and then I'm going to put the water in it so when you put the water make sure you fill completely until the top because if you leave the space there will be air and air produces the bacteria you need bacteria but you need a good bacteria so i'm almost filled until the top and then i'm going to put the lid so once i put this lid that's it i'm good to go for three days so after three days Take this jar out, mix it nicely, and then start drinking. 
generally you cannot consume them all it in one day or two days three days maybe three days i consume the whole thing um because i bring it to my work like two big glasses and then i drink it around 3 pm or between 3 and 4 pm i finish it um sometimes i also drink before going to bed so this uh will last like around 3 to 4 days for you you can once the 3 days is done um keeping it do not touch it and keep it in a darker area i put it in my prayer room for good energy but you can put it anywhere where there is a darker area not touching it you should not touch you should not mix it while it is um becoming you know that good bacteria so leave it for 3 days in a darker place and then after 3 days take it out and then you know you can mix nicely and start drink it some people some of my clients they keep it refrigerated those 3 days until they finish it or you can leave it outside i leave it outside until i finish but when i open this one i make a new one because this will take 3 days for me to finish by the time i'm finished this one i am um, i have another one ready so remember what all i put it mustard seed powder 2 teaspoons and one big uh, beets peel it and cut it into pieces and put it in here and 2 um, teaspoons of the salt and the beets um, skin you can again blend this one with the milk or with oranges and use it for the skin do not throw it nothing you need to throw everything you can you can every vegetable you're doing you can blend it and use for your skin body that you know this are all healthy for you and uh, today we made it how to use it on the skin and the probiotic right so now i'm going to teach you few exercises which you can protect you know help from this virus when the virus enters generally they are saying it is on the throat for 3 days you know you will not even know that you have the virus but in those days if you can take lots of steam with the peppers black peppers and also the um ginger and the basil and put some of the turmeric so put all that in a bowl with the water and take steam two to three times a day and then the best one i found is the greatest to my you know to release all the negative stuff from my body is the breathing exercises so there is one breathing technique if you can do whenever you have in between time uh, but this has to be done before the meals so you should not do this when you are heavy with the stomach So what you do is you just lift your head a little close your eyes and then take a deep breath first and then start pumping out the air when you're pumping out the air you do inhale but you don't focus on the inhale you only focus on the exhale When you're doing this you sit in a comfortable position and use the yoga mudra this is called yoga mudra you keep the front fingers close and then relax these fingers so this is called yoga mudra and then sit in a nice nice um, relaxed chair in a chair in a relaxed position and release completely and take inhale and exhale two three times and just leave everything the whole body and then close your eyes and then lift the head and then breathe out this is the best exercise you know the more you can do the better it is uh, to release all the toxins from the body um this has been proven to release the toxins and also if anyone is talking anything which you don't want to hear also breathing out focusing on the breathe out is the best technique not to get all that stress into the body because i know you are with the whole family right now at home so you do need these techniques a lot like you know anyone is saying you don't want to enter that into your body just uh, you don't need to close your eyes just open your eyes and then focus on the breathing out can also do this this will also help you not to enter anything into the body okay the brain does not keep it it will exhale so these are my today's uh, techniques 
So we'll meet again next week um, around the same time, 2 p.m. on Saturday, next Saturday. So I'll tell you.